type of tube. I was looking at the, um, I was just trying to make sure I wasn't taping on the same thing. Here we go. Um, so my book review is on the girl with all the gifts. And I'm just using this my tablet. Oh, that scared me. The camera just went off. It plays <laughs> music. So anyway, the girl with all the gifts. This book, so good. I mean, it's really good. Um, I gave it a five stars. Um, and let's see. I was going to say something about when I gave it the five stars. I found some little things wrong. Minute things wrong with it. Um, which I can't remember at this time what it is. So you see how minute it is. But this book. It is so good. Oh, that's for the movie. Well, okay, so let me start off to tell you. No spoilers, so. Um, how the book starts off, which um, I will put a link to the movie trailer. Or did I already do that? I put a link to the movie trailer in one of my other, like a current read, I think. It might have been one I've done, but I'll do it again for the reviews so you can see. Because this is not a spoiler. Because you can see the movie trailer, which I don't understand why they did that. I have some ideas, but um, I won't voice them. Because I kind of want to, but then it, it might stir up some things that that's not what I'm trying to say. So whatever. To me, I don't like it. Do the book. Okay, so in the book, the little girl's name is Melanie, and um, she, and the reason why I bring that up, well, because it's Melanie, but I bring it up so because she says that she was told her name meant um, little dark child, something like that. Anyway, it has something to do with her skin, like being dark, and she thinks her teacher's name should be that because her teacher is dark uh, with long hair, and she's beautiful which meaning her teacher is black. So in the trailer, the teacher is white and the little girl is black. So did they do that to match her name? Because then I'm like, heck, then just change the name. I don't know why they change characters. I don't. That's like Stephen King freaking changing the characters on The Gunslinger, and I really don't understand that. I Bring it in. I get pretty passionate when I read books and then the movies aren't the same. Sometimes I think I should just watch the movies first, then read the books, but how do you know when they're going to be a movie? So I did know about this first being a movie because I didn't know about this book that existed. All right, so now I'm bringing myself back. Okay, so this book is so good. Okay, so it's about a zombie apocalypse and I'm not giving any spoils away because you find that out um, maybe second chapter thing and it's a quick read it's only how many pages really it's only um, 460 pages and then there's a little excerpt of another book in this one at least um, oh there's some interviews oh that's what is interview and then um yeah, a little excerpt of a book called The First 15 Lies of Harry August. Now I know why. I, um, one little thing bothered me. But then I said it didn't matter because the book was still excellent. I mean, it matters. Whatever. What I didn't like is the ending. I felt it was rushed a little bit. And like so many authors I find are doing now, it's like they, they're rushing their book. So I figured, like, let me just end it. I don't know. But I felt like this was rushed, too. Um, so, but still, look, it's good. I mean, uh, anyway, so it's Apocalypse and um, Zombie Apocalypse. And something about her, about the little, little girl Melanie, is special. 
and um, there's a uh, um, a doctor there. I don't want to say biochemist. I forget what kind of doctor. But anyway, I tell you, if if uh, Glenn Close plays the character in this book the same way, she'll make you can't stand her too. So, cause I oh that woman. But anyway. So good. I don't want. I can't tell anything except that um, um, it tugs at your heart. Uh, it makes you talk out loud. Cause I was reading this book at work during lunch, of course, and I'm like, what? And then oh, and then I want to cry. And then I'm like, one part as I was reading at work, and I saw a kid's little walk by the lunchroom, be like, who is she talking to? Because that's you know what serves you right. How stupid. Why would you do that? So that's what I was saying. Oh, the sun's gone. Oh, okay. Oh, the light's on. Mm. Sorry. Okay. Didn't get much light. My lighting's kind of off. But anyway, um, see, I think this one, this camera might be better. But this book, it, a lot of emotions, a lot of emotions. Um, some smiles. Uh, there's one little romance in it. Um, that then I'm like, okay, stupid. Because <laughs> so, I'm thinking, man, seriously, if they catch you and they have you for a meal, that's your fault. Um, Yes, but this book is, is really good. When it comes out in the movie, I'm going to go see it anyway. Regardless of the fact they change the characters, I'm going to go see it. And this book is really good. So, um, but anyway, so this doctor's there. And this doctor's trying to find um, a cure. Um, or, if not a cure, at least why it's happening. So that if they can't cure it, they can at least stop it. Um, like on Legend with, um, or I Am Legend with Will Smith, when he was determined, even though... The whole world just kind of went to hell in a handbasket, and he was still trying to look for that, that reason that so he could stop it. He was like, "I can fix it. I can fix it." But see, she wasn't. The doctor in this isn't um, as compassionate as Will Smith's character, who was compassionate about trying to fix it. Not her. I won't go any further. Man. Um, and uh, what else? What else? Um, I don't know about this book that I wanted to say. It was fresher in my mind when I finished it, and I should have not saying it's not good and want it's not fresh, but I mean, some points I wanted to stand out really. Um, exciting scenes. A lot of exciting scenes because that's why it was a fast read. I could have finished it faster, but I was reading another book with it and then with work and then I come home late at night and I'm just too tired regardless of the fact that I want to read it but I know I'm too sleepy just to be putting time into it but oh I mean when I did read it I'm like I don't want to put it down but then when I read it I'm going to work so this is how good this book is that I would try to find time in it to read it and then I just force myself finally say you know what you're going to finish this book regardless because I just wanted to know I wanted to know and when it ended, I was sad. I didn't want it to end. So I'm like, come on, it could be a little thicker. I'm used to thicker books. And I'm like, come on. And But I didn't like the ending. So then I'm like, that can't be the ending. And I'm like, what the? That can't be the ending. So really, I could take a star away. But then, I mean, I'm, am I taking away because I'm pissed off that it ended so soon? And the way it ended... lighting though. Okay. All right. So anyway, this is going too long. Um, so the girl with all the gifts. I'm going to do it this way. You know, I should have done my review this way because 
This is a haunting book. Haunting. And then, yeah. Anyway. Oh, that's a good lighting. Wait, who was it? You kind of made me look a little tiny decent. For now, because now I'm focused on this light. Mm. Anyway, people, so read the book, see the movie if you want. I'm going to, but read the book. And oh, one of the blurbs says, it takes hold of you and doesn't let go. It really does. Tense and fast pace with a heartwarming tenderness. It had that. The lighting. Um, man. I'm going to read this book again. I'm going to take time out and read it again. I might read it for Halloween, God willing, um, that I'm here, whatever. But anyway, I'm going to read it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Here we go. Okay, so my current read, because I'm done with this. It's a good book. I'm done with it. I did do a review on Goodreads, so I think, man, I can't remember these things. Did I do that? I think I did. But, I need to, but I'm going to do one on my WordPress. But anyway, good. So, um, my current reads now that I finished this. Um, Stephen King, End of Watch. I haven't picked that up yet, but I'm going to. Did I say I was going to read this? Because I am. I am. Here. I'm thinking of ending things by Ian. No. Ayn Reed, I-A-I-N. Anyway, it's a short book, and I'm reading this sucker. So this is my next read, is I'm thinking of ending things, um, Stephen King, End of Watch. I want to read, I'm going to finish The Luminaries all on its own, because it's such a thick book. Um, go to memoir, so... Uh, that could be my diverse too, because diversathon. Because I, I never joined a sword and didn't want to, and um, there's a lot of different people in there and how things go along. That would be a good diversathon book because it's how um, people react, to different cultures and um, and um, social economic status people. I don't know. Anyway. Um, oh, oh. Dark matter. Dark matter. Uh, oh this book by Blake Crouch. So good. So good. I'm almost halfway through it. And it's set in Chicago. So I like that because I know where they are. I'm reading. I'm like, oh, okay, I know where he's at. So, yes. Um... I'm going into this book blind because I don't know what, what it reads. Um, I know um, a couple people I've read already. Peter, you can see he's one of my favorite booktubers. Peter and Pop Morris. I forget his name. Anyway, um, I'll put his link. And he, both of them have done um, both of them have done book reviews. And I don't want to know. I don't want to know. But anyway. So these are my three. One, two, three. Go ahead and end of watch. Those are my current reads. I know I said some other books before, but you know what? I'm going to, I have the prerogative to change it. So, all right, people. Here we go. Here we go. Change of the books. So, thank you so much. I wonder if I turn the light off, how would that go? Oh, you can't see it. Okay, so I'll do it this way. So, oh, don't you dare. Yeah. All right, booktube. So, thank you so much. 
watching my channel. Ooh. See, that one's better. <laughs> I'm tripping. Thanks. And have a... There we go. Thanks, and you guys have a great day. And this is so funny. I think that's why they use those lightings. So thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Um, enjoy your reads, and I'll see you again. Thanks for watching my channel. I love to read. Obviously, I also love having fun with lights and all that other stuff. I was going to go into another story about me with flashlights and Girl Scouts, but I won't. All right. Thanks. Have a blessed day. Ciao.